just not a burger, in my opinion. The first vegan meal of this video had to be something you would not expect to be vegan, or well, most likely. But I mean, oatmeal can of course be done vegan. This oatmeal itself is just made with oats, which has been cooked in oat milk, which of course naturally makes it vegan. Once you have your base, you add three toppings of your likings, and this is where I began to struggle just a little bit. You see, I had to choose something different besides what I'd normally order, because it of course had to be vegan. I had my oatmeal with blueberries, toasted coconut and apple compote, which was really really nice. I can't explain it. There's just something about it. It's just so good every single time. Here is the apple compote. Here. Even though it was very very delicious, I kept thinking about how much it would have satisfied me if I had gotten their caramel sauce. And guys, the caramel sauce they serve is so delicious, but it's unfortunately made with sweetened condensed cow's milk, so I couldn't have it because that is not vegan. Something that is interesting about vegan food is that some food is good because it's vegan and other foods are good despite it's vegan. Do you get what I'm saying? This is made 100% meant to be vegan, so it's not like you are substituting something for something else, if that makes sense, and trying to make an alternative to make it taste better than it's supposed to. It's just a pleasant experience, and I think those are the meals and vegan foods that I prefer. The ones that are meant to be vegan naturally, and not some that are substituted or swapped or like fake meat. It's just perfect to me, that's what I'm trying to say. And for the running too, because I'm running a lot. My energy sources are quite, you know, I need a lot of food, a lot of carbs, a lot of energy just to sustain those kilometers. I get hungry, so this one is perfect for me, even though I will I could eat another bowl of this instantly. Overall, this first meal was a success, but next time I know that I'll get back and get my caramel sauce. I tried to make a matcha with Uchi matcha instead of the usual matcha powder that I use from uh, Muji. That sounded very similar. The color is so much more green. It actually kind of fails on the camera, but it's much darker in real life. This matcha right here. It smells incredible. I made it with soy milk because we're obviously doing the vegan thing and I would make it with soy milk anyway. Let's try and taste it. That is amazing. It is so much better than the one from um, Muji. Muji. Uji. Sounds so similar. Successful. Matcha number. I don't know. My thoughts on veganism are very open-minded, I guess. Because in general, I think that vegan foods are quite tasty. You know, I love my vegetables, I love my greens, but I also love the stuff that is actually vegan, in which you wouldn't think would be vegan. Today, I picked up a snack at a local bakery. It is this chocolate rye thing that is actually made with rye bread, which is a Danish thing, tossed in nuts and then with dark chocolate inside and outside. <laughs> just how it looks, just a little like snack bite thingy. Mmm, it's so good. All the Danes know it. <laughs> Where was I? Thoughts on veganism. Okay, personally, I do eat a lot of vegetables in general, but I also eat a lot of meat and dairy and animal-based pro products, products, because that is what makes me feel the best. I think that a lot of vegan foods are very tasty. I love my matcha and my rye bread snack. I mean, it may not look like much, but it's absolutely amazing. I love having these things, and I also love tofu, vegetables, and all of that stuff, which is just naturally vegan. I just think that sometimes, well, not sometimes, Times, but you do see a lot of weird. I'm gonna finish my. 
you do see a lot of weird alternatives to non-vegan food made in a vegan way and I just genuinely believe that if you want to have something that's vegan don't try and take something that's not vegan and turn it vegan visually try and fake it because it's just not going to work of course it can be very tasty but a vegan burger made with beyond meat is not a meat burger it's a plant-based burger and most of the time you will be able to tell once you taste it which is fine but I just don't think that anything should be faked given the fact that we're now in 2024 it is very very normal to find vegan alternatives once you're out to eat and just food that are naturally made vegan. Veganism is also kind of a trend for some people to join because they want to make it look cool or whatever. I just think that you should do it for the right reasons if you want to go vegan, which is completely fine. Just don't do it because you think it's cool or I just spit it all over myself. Don't do it because someone else is, but do it for you. Of course, it can be nice to test it out personally to see like what effect it has on your body. But for me, I realized that it did not work, which is why I need to mention also that in this video, I'm not going fully vegan. I'm only testing vegan foods, vegan alternatives, just to try and explore it and see what the vegan supplies really are here in 2024. Well over a year ago, I made not one, but two videos in which I tried to eat 100% plant-based. One time, everyone around me knew it, and it almost felt kinda cool to say to people that I'm vegan. I never go wrong with this. However, for me, it was for the wrong reasons. I was so mentally ill that I just saw it as an escape from reality and recovery, actually. However, as if I didn't feel enough the first time, the second time I tried to go vegan, I did it undercover style, so I did not tell anyone about it. I wanted to see it as a social experiment to see how people would react, but also how difficult it would be for me to eat plant-based without telling anyone. Try it. This burger is really, really nice. The only thing that I am missing, which is a bit unfortunate, is um, the cheese. That is also one of the reasons why I am not going vegan. I don't want to miss anything, because for me, a burger is not complete without cheese. That's just a personal pre preference. Substituting stuff has just never really been my thing. Like this vegan patty right here. I'm trying to resembling resemble beef patty when it's really not. I just think that if you want to make something vegan, you should just take foods that are already vegan and try to make them taste the best instead of trying to fake meats and stuff. But with that said, this burger is really, really nice. Even though I do miss the meaty taste from it, it is still good. One of the best veggie ones I've ever had. Seeing it as a social experiment to try and learn how people would react to what I was eating, why I ordered different stuff, made me so curious, but it was just not sustainable and it's not either today. For me, any restriction in any form is simply just not an option. If I want to eat a pastry followed by a cheesy toast, that's just what I'm going to do. And by all means, even though I failed during my vegan time, I did learn a lot because going vegan taught me that it's absolutely not sustainable for me and my body's needs, but also for my mental health this liberating and freeing feeling of being able to eat whatever I want whenever I want it's just not sustainable for me to be restricted in any way at all it's just not a burger in my opinion oh well meat burgers also had a lot of french fries with ketchup because that's vegan too I do enjoy this and I do get satisfied from it or whatever but I know that it's not going to keep me as full for as long as a meat burger would it's just it with veggies you just digest them faster look at that booze actually it's not that flattering but it's super nice I did learn a lot and in that way I'm glad I did it even though I did feel absolutely terrible during the process and afterwards actually I don't think I've ever been that hungry in my entire life but that has also something to do with me going vegan the wrong way I'm pretty sure of that I did talk about that in the actual vegan video so that was just a side topic so even though I did fail a vegan diet in the past that doesn't mean that I am a failure because I learned something and I'm going to use that for myself for my future and just to be good kind to myself Myself and learn from it and improve as a person treating my body right I guess ah, cheers to a very successful vegan meal number I actually lost count at this point I don't know but it was very very good not the best but one of the best I would recommend even though I think a vegan burger is quite like a win or lose or whatever there's nothing in between and this was a win for sure 
I did just try to style my hair in a more fashionable way, I guess, but uh, I think I failed. I'm midway through my workout and what I'm going to do is that I'm just feeling like having a little snack and that is this vegan protein bar. And once again, I need to say a huge thank you to Barbells for gifting me these bars. This one is with salted caramel and peanuts. This one is actually one of my favorites compared to all of the bars they've got. I think it's, it's really good. So far, I think that eating a vegan diet has been quite pleasant and I am sure that it has something to do with everything that I've eaten and that I have not been restrictive in any way. By all means, I am eating both vegan foods and foods that are non-vegan, meaning that I include absolutely everything. That is the greatest deal breaker for me. I am still enjoying these vegan foods and I'm not to try everything, but I still eat normal foods as well, so I'm not excluding anything. I mean, I'm just eating whatever I want and it's actually quite pleasant. I do, however, notice that when I eat Eat vegan my body feels a lot different I feel much lighter in my body when I eat vegan foods compared to when I don't and I don't feel as puffy and stuff but I do also want to mention that the time after I've been eating until I feel that I need to eat again until I get hungry is a lot shorter so I feel that it doesn't satisfy me for just as long and I think that's just a general experience of mine and something that happens most of the time of course some foods are way more filling but it's just an observation that I thought I wanted to share with you but in general and overall something that I keep thinking about is just how my appetite in general has increased rapidly with all of the marathon training. I think that my eating patterns have changed a bit for the better. By all means that I eat a lot more and more frequently and I simply cannot leave my house without having breakfast. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that I don't think that my appetite having increased has something to do with the vegan diet. I think it has something to do with my marathon training and everything, which I of course plan to do an entire video on, so stay tuned for that. But for now I'm just going to enjoy vegan bars, get on with my workout. And hopefully feel a bit more not out of my comfort zone with this hair and everything. <laughs> I guess that with time and everything I'm going to get more used to it. I'm just experimenting a bit, okay? I'll catch you when I do. This is so nice. I wish you could have a taste. <laughs> Today is the 1st of February and here in Denmark we have officially entered the season for Festadal, which basically translates to carnival I guess and with the carnival we of course eat lots of nice food one of them being Festa Lounge Bola which has gone absolutely crazy for the past couple of years but there's only a few places who make them vegan that actually make them good and one of them is the bakery I went to today I just picked up one of these Festa Lounge Bola and a fun fact I actually used to work in this place and I used to have one every single day and they are so so good they had two vegan ones to choose from one with raspberry and one with bergamot I think I went for the raspberry one it is so gorgeous almost too pretty to eat if you ask me i mean this one that i went for is with a pastry dough raspberry compote inside this raspberry cream on top and if you guys could smell how good this smells then you would be just as happy as i am i think i'm gonna cut it in half just to show you the inside of it because that is really really good <laughs> Without a doubt, the best one I've had in my entire life. And as mentioned, this is not the first time. But I'm curious to see if it's just as good as I remember. So I think we should just cut into it. I'm using a fork because it's going to be messy. I'm sure there's a lot of cream in it, which is good. Let me look. This is out of this world. You can absolutely not tell that it's vegan. You know, some vegan stuff can lack a bit of flavor and just be a little bit boring. I'm not really sure what the dough itself is made of, um, but um, it tastes really, really good, which is, of course, all that matters. <laughs> mm. Approved a hundred percent. This entire vegan video has been a bit not long-winded But it has taken me a lot of time to record it I thought I was going to be able to do it in January only because of veganuary and all that stuff But I simply wasn't able to because of work and lots of other videos that I really do hope that you have watched at this point But today being the first time that I ran in three weeks I am feeling such a relief and I'm really really happy being able to continue my marathon training the best way That is so 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 important to me because if I was going to feel worse after this run then I would be terrified to have injured myself permanently. More of a story, vegan pastries are incredible if you get them from the right spots and this one is definitely one of them.
talking about how I failed veganism, how it's not for me, but I still enjoy the foods because it can be quite delicious. I'm sure that you guys are wondering, why the heck do you make a video like this one explaining that you tried a plant-based diet? Okay, well, I'm just gonna put it out there. First of all, I am always curious and open to try new things. And yeah, I do like plant-based foods. I mean, I have soy milk in my matcha every single day. I love my curries with tofu, my vegetables, but I do also love my chocolate, my meat, my dairy, and all of that. So let me just explain it a bit to you. I genuinely believe that all foods are welcome. Something that crossed my mind, which I think is really annoying actually, is how quick to judge we tend to be sometimes. Or well, some people tend to be. If you're even like ordering just a vegetarian meal or opting for soy milk instead of cow's milk in your latte or whatever it would be, I usually get the comment, oh well, so you're vegan now, someone once asked me. And I'm like, no I'm not, but I'm eating a vegan diet too. I eat everything and anything I crave. If I naturally want to experiment, try vegan foods and sometimes alternatives to non-vegan originally created meals, I think that's great. Being open-minded, experimental and wanting to expand my horizons is only a personal achievement as it shows how far I've come personally. When I was at my lowest, I would never ever allow myself to try something I may not would have liked. I would have seen it as a waste of calories or a disaster. I would see myself as a failure, not knowing what I would like. I would stress out about it so much and having reached a point in which food freedom is an option for me, it's just amazing and such a relief. And that is why I'm putting this video out there, just letting you know that you can do it, you can try everything you want and you let yourself fail and you let yourself have disappointing food options and you move on from that. That is the best feeling ever. But with everything said in this video, I do really hope you found it somewhat entertaining, inspirational, maybe something third. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Remember that you are always allowed to eat whatever you want, whenever you want, vegan or not.